In this video, we are going to talk about the Diageo stock. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The stock price of Diageo PLC declined minus 0.18% on the last day, Monday, June 28, 2021, from $193.98 to $193.64, and has now fallen three days in a row. The price varied 0.53% throughout the day, from a low of $193.23 to a high of $194.25. The price has dropped in 6 of the last 10 days, falling by minus 0.42% in that time. Volume declined along with the stock on the last day, which is a good sign because volume should follow the stock. The trading volume declined by minus 16,000 shares on the last day resulting in a total of 207,000 shares being purchased and sold for $40.16 million. In the short term, the stock is trading around the bottom of a narrow and powerful ascending trend, which could indicate a solid buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $192.42 is broken, it will signal a slower rate of rise in the short term, but it might also signal a trend shift. Given the present short-term trend, the stock is anticipated to climb 17.06% over the next three months and, with a 90% likelihood, conclude the period with a price between $225.24 and $234.03. Signals and Prognosis The short-term moving average is indicating a sell signal for Diageo PLC, while the long-term moving average is indicating a buy signal. Because the short-term average is higher than the long-term average, the stock has a general buy signal, indicating a good outlook. The stock will face resistance from the short-term moving average at about $193.69 if it continues to rise. If the price falls, it will find some support at the long-term average of $191.97. A breakup through the short-term average signals a buy, whereas a breakup through the long-term average signals a sell. Negative signals were also sent out, and these could have an impact on the near-term trajectory. On Tuesday, June 15, 2021, a sell signal was sent from a pivot top point, and it has since lost minus 1.08%. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is discovered. Furthermore, the three months moving average convergence divergence is currently indicating a sell signal, MACD. During the previous trading day, Volume fell in lockstep with the price, lowering total risk because volume should follow price movements. Stop loss, risk, and support on the downside, the stock finds support from cumulative volume around $181.94 and $181, well below today's level. When a stock is testing a support level, there is a natural chance that it will be broken, causing the stock to fall to the next support level. In this situation, Diageo PLC finds support around $181.94, just below today's level. If this is breached, the next accumulated volume support levels will be $181 and $175.53. In general, the stock has highly controlled swings, and with good liquidity, the risk in this stock is considered to be extremely low. The stock changed $1.02 between high and low in the previous day, or 0.53%. The stock has had a daily average volatility of 0.73% over the last week. No. 1. In the spirits industry. Diageo is the world's largest spirits producer, with a 27% global volume market share. However, the company still has space for expansion, as it now produces only 1.7% of all beverage alcohol used globally. Diageo identified some of the aspects that could boost sales in the future years in its 2019 annual report. By 2030, the company estimates that 750 million people in emerging nations will be able to afford its and competitors' products. Customers in the United States are converting from beer to spirits, European customers are migrating from beer and wine to spirits, and individuals in some regions of Africa are turning away from illegal alcohol and toward regulated, high-quality products, according to Diageo. The data from IWSR, a drinks market analyst based in the United Kingdom, backed up those claims. Spirits consumption increased in 2018, while wine and beer consumption decreased, according to the research. More good news for Diageo. Gin was the fastest-growing category, up 8.3%, and is anticipated to keep growing. 
Gordon's and Tanqueray Gins are owned by Diageo. According to the Spirits business, Gordon saw a nearly 27% increase in volume in 2018, making it the no. One player, while Tanqueray came in third. There are various types of leadership. Diageo also owns a number of well-known brands. Its whiskies account for 38% of the market, while Smirnoff is the most popular vodka brand and Bailey's is the most popular cream liqueur brand. Another advantage is Diageo's diversification of beverage kinds and leadership in numerous categories, which allows the company to profit rather than lose when one trend stops and another emerges. For example, in the 1990s, vodka was the drink to have at a party, but these days, vodka sales have slowed, and, as previously noted, gin is the cool drink to order. Diageo has a large market share and a diverse portfolio of products, but what about revenue and earnings? It's not a fast-growing corporation with double-digit sales growth, but rather a consistent long-term investment. Since at least 2009, the company's revenue has increased, and its earnings per share has increased since 2017. Net sales increased 4.2% for the half-year, according to the company's latest report, with all regions contributing positively. Due to an unusual gain in the previous period, earnings per share fell by around 2%. Earnings are unlikely to be a bright point in the near future, given the unique coronavirus pandemic situation, although the disruption is certainly temporary. In the meantime, investors can benefit from Diageo's three-year plan to return up to $5.5 billion to shareholders. Diageo was able to buy back $1.53 billion in shares after the first phase ended in January. It's a chance. Diageo's stock is currently trading at around 19 times earnings, which is the lowest level since December 2016. By that metric, it's cheaper than rival Constellation brands, NYSE, STZ, which has a price-to-earnings ratio of around 30. Diageo's stock is expected to rise 32% from its current price. Given the probable turbulent ride through the next earnings season, I don't see that kind of growth in the near future. Long-term investors, however, should take advantage of the current slump in the stock market. Diageo has the proper mix of product diversification, market share, and consistent income to make it a consumer staple company that you should add to your portfolio and own for a long time. What will happen to premium alcoholic beverage brands during the downturn? Diageo, which was founded in 1997 and now owns over 200 beer and liquor brands, is a global leader in the alcoholic beverage business. More than 180 nations sell the company's products. Johnny Walker, Crown Royal, J&B, Buchanan's, and Windsor Whiskies, Smirnoff, Surrock, and Kettle One Vodkas, Captain Morgan Rum, Bailey's Irish Cream Liqueur, Don Julio Tequila, and Tanqueray Gin are among the most well-known brands. After Scotch, beer is the company's second-largest category, led by Guinness. This diverse portfolio appeals to both developed and emerging markets. The company's aim is to accelerate the growth of higher margin premium brands by first competing in the mainstream spirits market and then using aspirational marketing to introduce customers to more expensive premium and reserve products. Until the coronavirus epidemic, everything was going swimmingly, with constant revenue growth, a growing stock price and 20 years of dividends. With the closure of pubs, restaurants, and many liquor stores, the stock's price has decreased over 20% year-to-date, giving it a price-to-earnings ratio of 20. The company gave investors with a business update on COVID-19 on April 9. Demand was slowly rebounding in China, but a significant amount of demand has dried up in most other parts of the world due to widespread restaurant and bar closures, according to the business. However, management observed that retail sales have increased in recent weeks, although it is unclear whether the increased demand in that channel would continue. The company has withdrawn its guidance for organic net sales growth and organic operating profit growth for fiscal 2020 due to the uncertainty in so many significant markets. People will return to pubs and restaurants after the globe has moved on from this painful era. Diageo, with its diverse range of brands, should gradually resume normal operations. Meanwhile, Diageo is working to keep its name in front of consumers by providing alcohol to hand sanitizer manufacturers throughout the world to help alleviate shortages. More than 8 million bottles of the disinfectant will be produced as a result of the donation. Is it time to raise a glass to investors? Diageo stock now has a dividend yield of 2.1% as of this writing. 
The corporation aims for a coverage ratio of 1.8 to 2.2 times earnings per share to dividends per share in its 2019 year-end report. Dividend coverage for 2019 was 1.9 times, and management planned to make modifications until the ratio was closer to the midpoint of its target range before the coronavirus. Massive brand strength and global revenue distributed over a wide range of markets are among Diageo's core foundations. Sales increased by 4.9% in calendar 2019, while adjusted earnings per share increased by 7.0%. CEO Ivan Menezes reassured investors in the April 9 statement that the April dividend would be paid, but that share repurchases would be discontinued for the rest of fiscal 2020. In light of the pandemic, I believe investors should hold off on investing until management can present a more thorough business view. The basic business of Diageo is sound, but given the unpredictable market conditions, I'd need greater clarity on any strategy changes. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications before you go. Thanks for watching.